My name is Amber, I'm a mom of 10 kids and we live in New York City. Tomorrow we are flying on three separate planes so that the kids can see their great grandmother who's my grandmother. So why are we flying on three separate planes? I'm gonna tell you why. So my son Josiah, who's 20, he noticed back in October, the plane tickets were getting really expensive. And so he's like, I better get my plane ticket. So he got his plane ticket and I was like, well, maybe we can all fly together. So I went into Expedia and got six tickets. So here are the six tickets I bought. So then I tried to go back in and buy five more tickets for the rest of the kids. And they were like $50 more expensive or maybe like $70 more expensive. And I was like, okay, forget that. I'm not paying that much more for tickets. So we ended up booking yet another flight for the other five kids. Here's their flight. So tomorrow we are gonna take the subway to JFK and hopefully we all get there safe and sound. Hey, this is Amber from the Happy Caravan today. It's 6.30 in the morning and we are leaving for the airport. The big kids already left a few hours ago. So, here we go. I can't wait. It's gonna be so fun. This, cause this is my first time going on a plane. Can you do that? I'm gonna take well that for sure. It's just gonna be fun because I can see the top. Oh, yeah. In the subway. All our stuff. And the
See the pigeon? It's so different over here. It's like suburbia out there. It's so cute. This is Queens. So we're waiting for the train here. And it's gonna, is it gonna take us to the airport? It's gonna take us to the terminal. Take us to the terminal. Okay. Are you traveling with heavy, large or multiple pieces of luggage? Do not ride the escalator. Walk to the end of the platform and take the elevator instead. Attention passengers, are you traveling with a group of three or four persons? Save money on your air train ride with a $25.10 metro car sold at our Howard Beach and Jamaica stations. This discounted fare is valid only on air train for 30 days. Attention all passengers. Broke the wall. That's Kevin. That's Kevin. I don't care. Kevin, I
terminal by terminal. We already did terminal five. Uh, Bobby. Here, I'm gonna have to help her. It's okay, it's okay. I know you're scared. Mommy, help you. Does mama got you? Were you nervous? <laughs> you're okay That's what we're taking. So we made it through security barely. <laughs> Are you okay, Mark? Oh no. There's our security over there. Did you make it, Mo?
so many, yeah. So go on one of them. Sick on the plane, you weren't sick. That's good. Did they give you anything to eat of? Instead of improving usability of the software, the software has actually introduced just new sets of cryptic error codes that don't help anyone solve any problems. Wait, what? I have spent hours. How we sleep in our Airbnb. In bedroom one, Pearl and Naomi are sharing a bed. Melody and Anna and Chloe are sleeping on mats on the floor. Noah and Enoch are sharing the bed in the second bedroom. In the living room, Elijah and Josiah are sleeping on pull-out couches. Mommy and Daddy are sharing the third bedroom with baby Moses. 
Yesterday, our family of 12 took three different planes to San Diego. And amazingly, we all made it without having a Kevin moment. <laughs> we flew to San Diego so the kids could visit their grandparents and great grandmother. We've been staying at this cute little Airbnb that's in the same neighborhood as their great grandmother. So they've been taking a lot of walks to go see her. Airbnb isn't huge, but with a few extra blankets and mats on the floor, we've made it work out. And the kids have done a bit of practicing on their violins, too. There's a beanbag toss in the backyard, and the kids are able to walk around in their bare feet because that's San Diego in the winter. In a few days, we are flying back to New York City on three different airplanes. I'm just hoping we can get back to New York safe and sound without having a Kevin moment. <laughs> aftermath of the girls bedroom at the Airbnb and here's the boys oh, and Noah so comfy. you know sleep you had a good sleep is that nice yeah. cool kids are checking out our room be careful don't jump on the bed you'll fall off guys don't jump on most Did you get locked in there? Did it lock you in there? Watch out, watch out, he's gonna fall off the bed. Okay, let's take him off the bed. Let's take him off the bed. Outside to play. They have a little beanbag tossed back there. That's really fun. Island with you. Does he have a jacket or something? Does he have a jacket? Um, he has a sweater. You fine? You fine? Get his other foot in the coat. That's what you want. Okay. 
off to Granny's. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Mama. Okay. Now. Yeah, two cards of yogurt, like nothing. Oh, Moses. Yeah, he likes snacks. This is my mo. You must. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> he's an entertainer. You're so funny. Yeah. I want those oranges to go bad. Hi. I'm just gonna Come touch me, Amber. Come touch me. No, no, I made them touch me. Mommy friends with Granny. Mommy loves Granny. Mommy likes Granny. She's so sweet. Are you nervous about oh, Granny? No, She's not quite sure. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Be careful your thumb. Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. <laughs> Sandwiches, a classic. Uh, how long has Philippi's been around? Did everybody can have like a piece of it. We should have gotten a big one. Two talons at least. Sorry, yeah. Please have a little sample. Are they all cheats? Uh, we got cheese and we got combo. Yum, I love those so much. Shut it. Just hatch it. Maybe no one works out. Going, we're not doing it yet. Yeah, that can do that. Stop, stop, stop. It's not for my for provolone. Yeah, it's for you. Pasta. Water. Yeah. 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 Y
I'll be a hundred percent honest. When we um, flew here, we didn't even rent a car because um, I looked up how much it would cost to rent a car, and it would be um, over a thousand dollars just for four days of car rental. And then there's all the pain of like picking up the car, um, bringing it back, getting gas. All it's just so many, so much like extraness. And um, I feel like because we're not necessarily planning on going a lot of places. Um, we didn't really need the car. So my dad picked us up. We took three different flights. So, you know, my dad picked us up kind of one at a time. Of course, the big kid's flight was um, supposed to come in hours before our flight. But that's not what happened. So the big kids left at like 5 in the morning. Their plane was supposed to leave at 8 in the morning. And it left at 8 in the morning. But then um, it was JetBlue and the captain was like, you know, what? we have to stop in Nevada to get fuel. So the big kids had to stop for over, their their plane was basically an hour and a half late because they arrived in San Diego the same time that we did. And so my dad picked us up, some of us, like the little kids and me and the baby and everything. He brought us back and then my aunt came and got the rest of the kids. So that was complicated. And Josiah, actually, his plane was like, the, like late the night before. So it was just it was a lot of chaos. But... Um, honestly, just financially over a thousand dollars for the, um, the car just seemed like a lot because we need a 15 passenger van. Plus you have to rent a car seat. It's just all this like craziness. So I was like, oh, so, I mean, our Airbnb is pretty economical. It's, I think we ended up paying about $1,200 for four days for this Airbnb, which is, uh, that's $1,200 is a lot of money, but it, it's worth it. We really want to see our granny and we're walking distance to our granny's house. So that's huge. Um, uh, next time, if we can afford it, I definitely would like to get a car. And basically my granny, um, she has like someone that helps her in the morning. And so that's kind of her get ready time and this and that. So we, you know, we just like let her have our space, um, during that time. So, but from 12 noon on, basically we can come over there. So I'm hoping, um, if we come next time, I'm praying we can come next time because I don't know how long we're going to have with her and we really love her. Um, so next time what I'd like to do is maybe rent a car and if we can afford it and go to like Legoland, the beach. So I would like to maybe do something fun in the morning. I don't know if we could fit Legoland into like a morning. <laughs> I think Legoland's like a big deal. My kids are super into Legos, but I don't know. I don't know what Legoland is. I've heard that Legoland skews a little bit young, but that's maybe just in my head. I don't know if it actually skews young, but what, yeah, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to like do touristy things, maybe go to the zoo, maybe go to the beach, maybe go to Legoland in the morning and then in the afternoon come see Granny. The other thing we like doing is, um, honestly, we don't make a lot of money in San Diego, but we like busking, um, which is playing music out in the street corner or whatever. We like busking in Balboa Park because, um, honestly, we've met a lot of friends out busking and it's a way for us to like reconnect with some of the friends that we've met. And I don't know, it's kind of like just a fun way to like feel the, the the heartbeat of the city in a way that you just don't feel any other way. So I don't know, that's kind of what I like to do, but we don't have all of our instruments. Um, we couldn't bring the cello, two, we couldn't bring two cellos or the string bass because it's just, once again, you have to pay for a plane ticket. So my kids are always so funny. They're like, well, mom, when we're rich, <laughs> they believe in me. So I'm great. I'm grateful for that. So it when and if we're ever rich enough to be able to just pay for extra plane tickets for no reason. I would like to um, bring the cello and the bass and all that stuff. So next time our trip might be a little different, but this time it's fine anyway because it's January and um, Melody is just over there, just poor thing. She just threw up so many times last night. She's just sitting on the couch watching Peppa Pig. Hey. Hi. Daddy will be Father Christmas. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Um, and I think she'll be okay, but you know, it's just hard. Like it's that, that, that one day stance, like before they can like, after my kids get sick, I'm not like a, I don't like white flour that much. And I also don't like sugar. And, but after the kids are sick, I give them Gatorade and I give them, um, saltine crackers. And that's just kind of the easy way to get them back into eating. So I do do that when the kids, um, 
are like done with the stomach flu, but there's that day right before when they can't really eat crackers and they can't really eat Gatorade and they feel sick. And that's kind of where Melody is right now. So I think God worked it out. It was okay that, you know, a thousand dollars for a car was too much for us this time, but I hope we do get to do something a little more touristy next time, perhaps. <laughs> kids flight left oh it's going to leave soon and then now it's our turn to leave it's almost I think it's seven in the morning and our flight leaves at eight so I hope everything works out with that it's a bit of a challenge Mark unfortunately has the stomach flu today so that was uh, not planned but things like that happen and you just have to keep moving Checking our bags.
sitting at the baggage claim waiting for our baggage. <laughs>